The Eagles! They're always an interesting team come free agency because they always are active and they're always willing to compete for names. They're always willing to make trades, savvy moves. And that's why I like Howie Roseman and the Eagles. This year is interesting, different, because I think they have more needs this year than they have in a couple of seasons. They really need receivers. It looks like Jeffrey's going to be gone. It looks like uh, Aguilar is going to be gone. So that really just leaves them with Deshaun Jackson, who's only getting older, and Arcega Whiteside. And then if you want to throw in, like, Greg Ward Jr. or whatever, you can. So uh, this is great because the draft has so many receivers. So they could go probably pick a receiver in the draft and then sign a receiver. Now, my thought is that they might go hard after Demarcus Robinson, go hard after Robbie Anderson, go hard after one of these kind of guys. And Demarcus Robinson makes the most sense to me because he fits the offense very well. He played for Andy Reid. Therefore, transferring to Doug Peterson. And I think he'd be a solid number two for this offense. And I think Wentz only elevates your receivers. The offensive line is good. One of the best in the league. And they don't really have any free agents outside of Jason Peters and Vitae, who, yeah, that's free agents for sure. But Peters is probably playing his last season. And you drafted Andre Dillard because you knew that Peters is going to be moving on. So he's not going to be back. He'll probably get more money elsewhere. Vitae, same thing there. But you have Lane Johnson and you have Andre Dillard. And the hope is that Andre Dillard can just be good in replacing Peters. But Jason Kelsey's is there. Brandon Brooks is there. So you're you're good. Running back, Miles Sanders will be the starter. Outside of that, they always find kind of the compliment guys. Corey Clement, Boston Scott. Maybe they'd bring back Jordan Howard. I don't think they need to. They could maybe draft someone there in the middle rounds. Defensively, you look at linebacker, which is a huge need. I think you could bring back Gruje Hill and give him some more playing time, which I think would be wise, but it doesn't seem like they've been willing to do that very often. And they've had the opportunity to. I think he's actually a good player. You could bring back Michael Kendricks if you wanted. Um, Martinez is interesting. You could bring in, like, Schobert, Devondre Campbell. You moved on from Bradham, so... That's interesting. an interesting position because the Eagles have not been willing to pay linebackers. Do they draft them? What do they do? They definitely need them. I don't think they want to go into the season with TJ Edwards, Alex Singleton, and Nathan Jerry. Like, I don't think they want that. And Duke Riley. Like, they need some linebackers. None of these guys I just said you probably know unless you're an Eagles fan. So, sign one, draft one, and we'll see from there. That's my thought. Safety, for the first time in a while, you need free safety. And then apparently Malcolm Jenkins is up in the air about his contract, but he's such an ingrained Philadelphia Eagle. I don't think he's going anywhere. Safety, I think you could bring in Clinton Dix. I think would be great. I think Trey Boston would be good. I think Randall would be good. I think Kendall Fuller, if you wanted like a free safety corner hybrid. But we all know that they need corners, and I haven't even brought up defensive line yet, but they have Brandon Graham, Fletcher Cox, and Derek Barnett still there. They have Malik Jackson playing this season, which is great. But Curry, Jernigan, and Ridgeway are all free agents. My guess is they re-sign Jernigan and Curry, and they just draft. But as long as they bring back Curry, you're fine at the edge because Josh Sweat is there. Miller is still there. You have some guys that can work into the rotation. But if you lose Curry, then all of a sudden edge becomes an issue and you need to sign someone else. Jernigan is really good for them when he plays, but he's just injured a lot. I think he would be perfect as a number three with Jackson and Cox being the starters because you never know when Jernigan's going to be hurt. Corner, I want them to sign Byron Jones. I know a lot of Eagles fans don't want that for whatever reason. They need corners. Whether that's drafting them, signing them, I think they need to sign one, two, three corners. Just please, like the Texans, sign corners. Chris Harris is an option. Bradbury, Fuller, Roby, Poole, Denard, Waynes, 
Jimmy Smith is an option. Um, any of these frigging guys. Like, just one of them. One of the top guys, and I would be satisfied if I'm an Eagles fan, and then we can work from the draft with the rest. What you really have right now in your secondary is Avante Maddox at corner, I should say, Razul Douglas, Sidney Jones, Crivon LeBlanc. Those are your corners. Darby is going to be gone. Mills is probably going to be gone. If you brought in a Byron Jones, this would completely change your entire defense. Now you have a number one corner. You can scheme up the rest. You don't need number two corners at number one level. Like, you can find number two corners, but it's very difficult to find number one corners. And that's been the issue with the Eagles for years now. Even when they won the Super Bowl, that was their issue, their biggest flaw in their team. And that's why I think Eagles fans are like, oh, just build the defensive line, don't worry about corner. The league is a change-in. Corner is even more important than it's ever been.